Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, December 28th, 2023. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Happy Thursday, everyone. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. A bit of a narrow range day here again, heading into the RTH Open. Uh, just 10 and a quarter points of range, 23% of ADR. Super tiny range right there, and uh, it follows the previous session's digestive day. Uh, this could become an outside day, but on a low range basis. For example, we could push to the lows of the day, become an outside day down, and then we could turn right back up uh, and become an outside day up, and then close in the range and become a two day narrow range with an upward up upward bias. So that's the idea right now. This market remains very very bullish. And even if we were to pull back modestly here, bulls would look to defend and return things back toward highs as we still have two days left in the year. And these two days could finish price at or near the highs of the year heading into next week's uh, new year of trading. So again, right now, if there's a failure to hold 48.30, that could open up a bit more weakness back toward the previous session's lows. Uh, and if so, Bulls will look to defend and rotate back up as we go narrow range uh, on a two-day basis with an upward bias. Taking a look here at the NQ. The NQ here today showing similar price action, a little bit higher than the previous session's highs here. Just 26% of ADR, 47 points. Very, very narrow price action right here. Upward trending bias at the highs of the year so far. And again, if there's a little bit of a failure here of this one and it rotates back down, bulls will look to defend it intraday. So if there's a little bit of intraday weakness that per pulls into play here, maybe something that pulls back toward 17.130, 17.115, that could provide an opportunity for bulls to defend and rotate this thing back up from a very short-term perspective. Um, again, not expecting a tremendous amount of volatility as volume drops here heading into the end of the year. Looking at Crude oil, this one's down 1.5% right now. Crude oil lower by 1.5%, still trading within this very clear range. The idea here after following the previous session here was a hard pullback into the range. This is the range right here. It looked like this day was going to start opening up some expansion to the upside. And instead, we got a big time pullback the next day. This opened the door to an inverted check mark day down. And now we're on lows, and we're close to probably the lows of the day here. Perhaps not the lows here, but we're in a zone here. 72 and a quarter, perhaps. 72.30, where price could come into play and then bounce and stay within the rectangle here. So we're inside this rectangular range coming into these lows. Those lows right there from last week, the low is 72.44 here. This one is 72.14. So again, 72 and a quarter or so could be about as low as we go, and then bouncing back up the range we could go. So staying within this range, not necessarily breaking down, not breaking out just yet in the range until proven otherwise. Here's a look at gold futures. Gold up, rather down, about a third of a percent at the moment, but higher from the December 13th FOMC. Big time move to the upside since then and prices are now sitting above the 2080 key range edge or, or market structure edge that's a big time edge right there and we're sitting just above it at the moment there hasn't been a whole lot of acceptance of prices above that level before we fall back down we've seen this thing come back up and now we have this large key range where quite literally we could trade anywhere within that that range and if we stay neutral it could just be 2111 to about 2029 staying neutral here until proven otherwise but this is fairly bullish heading into the new year but again uh, after such a hard rejection here and a pullback our bear is going to be looking to defend this edge here heading into the next year or do we see some sort of push through for a continuation that's going to be the big thing to continue to watch for today's action here two-day narrow range could still be in play 2100 to about 2070 staying within that range until proven otherwise uh, looking at the YM YM's down nearly two tenths of a one percent right now very narrow range as well 103 points of range 31 percent of average 
you can see a little bit of a test of the prices above the previous session's high and now rotating back to the mid. That could open up again a modest outside day down, followed by what could be a bounce back up within the range for perhaps an outside day up and then finish two-day narrow range. That could be the play here early on as this market Again, pulling back just a little bit here today, but not likely to catch fire to the downside. If we do test the previous session's lows in a rising 8, that could be enough to push prices back up toward 38K by the end of the day. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out here heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.